。另外，在收集新闻方面，近日少数族裔媒体服务机构 EMS 召开网络研讨会，本次的主题聚焦于近日迅速升温的巴以冲突。随着以色列与哈马斯的冲突迅速升温，国际间对于这场争端可能导致的更广泛的区域战争表示深深的担忧。同时，这场危机对于近年来已经受到种族偏见影响的美国社会将产生何种影响，也成为外界热切讨论的话题。在众多社交媒体上，越来越多的关于这场冲突的图像被曝光，其中许多内容意在激起民众的愤怒，并试图将这场冲突的责任推向其中一方。Reasonable voices trying to stop the conflict.、Uh, unfortunately, the United States and this administration、um, they have given the green light to Israel to keep、uh, bombing Gaza.、Uh, there are some calls、uh, for negotiations and so forth, but、uh, I've spent the past basically 18 hours.、Uh, Glued to the web and monitoring the media in the Middle East, and the onslaught is ongoing.、Uh, you know,、uh, entire neighborhoods have been leveled off, and uh, over uh, you know, three hundred children have been killed in Gaza.、Uh, doctors have been targeted.、Uh, seven, I think, six report reporters, journalists, have been killed. So. This conflict could drag other players. 在研讨会当天，专家指出，在哈马斯的初步攻击中，死亡的以色列人数已经超过了以色列的历史记录。目前，加萨的破坏情况日益严重，而当地巴勒斯坦平民却苦无避难之地。值得注意的是，这一切都发生在犹太人和穆斯林在美国受到仇恨和偏见行为达到创纪录的时期。有观点指出，反犹太和反穆斯林的言论在美国已经变得普遍。这一事实再次引起了美国社会对种族关系恶化的担忧。It's not enough just to、uh, to say yes on both sides. It, it is imperative that we、um, center Palestinian voices on their experience.、Um, go to organizations like IMEU that does that, and that if only our media would speak as clearly about. The violence towards Palestinians that happens every single day that we wake up and see about settler violence, and you don't hear it being、uh, being called terrorism. In fact, that's what it is. We have to we have to start seeing every human life as equal in value. 面对这场危机，与会专家开展了深入的探讨。他们意在探索以色列当前的冲突根源，并向民众讲解这场冲突对于已经面对种族仇恨影响的美国社会将带来何种后果。同时，专家也对这场中东的暴力活动是否可能最终导致美国不同族裔之间更深的分歧和矛盾表示担忧。凤凰卫视田野洛杉矶报道。